Welcome to week six of Belly Dancing for Beginners with me, Lindsay Marie Silver, here at Little Egypt Studio in Scotland. In this session, let's really enjoy dancing with the movements that we've been learning in the course. And also, let's explore and expand upon that fun that we had with the veil and all of its colour therapy and joyous, really feminine qualities. Alongside of that, I'm going to show you some really beautiful ways that you can wear your veil and that you can make it suddenly appear as if from nowhere as a little bit of an added surprise element in your dance for your audience. How does that sound? At the end of the course, I'm going to share with you a way that you can get even more involved if you'd like to learn more and you'd like to get more involved in our sisterhood, our community, because there is a lot more going on behind the scenes. This is just a little aspect, a tiny snippet of what I've been sharing during the pandemic for free to YouTube with the support of our Patreon subscribers. I'll chat to you more about that at the end. Coming into your basic stance, let's align through the feet. Bend through the knees, bring the hips into neutral, lift through the ribcage, shoulders come all the way round and down. Let's open up through the chest. Chin comes into alignment, allowing alignment throughout the full length of the spine. Take a deep breath here. And as we breathe out, let's bring the hands out to the side, elbows back. We're gonna start with that slide. So first of all, warming up all the way through each of the muscles, the joints, getting your circulation going, boosting the heart rate a little. Let's release out any tension. We can make that a little bit faster now as we slide through the hips. And you can start to activate through that anchoring technique. As you keep the upper half nice and still. Yes, well done. Good. Make that maybe a little bit faster. <laughs> Whee! While still trying to maintain that control of the muscles. Nice. Four, three, two, one. Make it big. Two, three, four. Nice. And now let's switch that around so we're anchoring through the low half. So you're going to use all those muscles that we spoke about, those three sets of muscles, and then through the upper half as we slide through there. So you're going to bring that movement to the upper half now. Try to keep the hips nice and still and steady. And we're lengthening out through the waist as we do that. You can play around a little bit more with the placement of your feet. Maybe you want to have them a little bit closer together or slightly wider apart. You bring your hands down by your side. Flexing through the wrist here. And really pushing your fingers into that movement all the way through to the last. Bring that back into center. We're going to use this painting hand. Allow that movement to travel from the shoulder all the way down the arm. Nice. Wow. <laughs> so we can bring one hand up, one down. Then gradually we're going to rotate round through the shoulder to bring that wider movement, that movement all the way out to the side, that range of motion is much bigger than it was a moment ago. Really pressing the hands and the fingers into that movement and just warming up through the wrists, the fingers, through the arms and the shoulders. Good, let's bring that down into center now. We're gonna work with a circular motion, bringing it all the way round. Not sure why this music has stopped, but let me see what we can do here. Wahed, 
All right, so here we go. We're going to slide the hip out to the side and then bring it back. Keep the hip in neutral, tailbone down towards the ground. Bring it out to the side. Bring it all the way forward to the side. Bring it back. Out to the side. Bring it forward. Side. Bring it back. Side. Bring it forward. A little bit faster here. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Nice and smooth. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Try the other way. We're gonna slide the hip out to the side. Bring it back. To the side. Bring it forwards. Side. Bring it back. Side, bring it forwards. Side, take it back to the side. Bring it forwards. Side, take it back. Side, nice and smooth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And bring the hands into genie pose if you want to. Wow, center slide. Nice. If you feel able to and you want to, you could try a little traveling step with that. So as your weight comes out over that foot, you're gonna step on the other side. Or you can keep that just in the spot if you would like to. Here we go. Now we're coming into center. Do you remember that full body shimmy that we did? That earthquake shimmy. We're gonna pick that up with a bend through the knees. So we're just gonna bend through the knees and you're dropping down to the ground that bit more. It's really releasing and relaxing. Ah. Ah. You're gonna feel that releasing all the way through. Your own body's momentum takes over. I wow, so we had that circle all the way around. Take it back the other way. Take it back. Wow. And then we had that figure of eight movement, bring it all the way around in a slide diagonal. Bring it round. Slide, twist, slide, twist, slide, twist. So it's a side diagonal, and then you're gonna use the muscles of external obliques. Nice to be able to really enjoy dancing with these movements that we've been learning. Make it nice and smooth. Faster. Keep it controlled. Well done. Yes. But slower. Bring your hands up onto the back of your head, perhaps. Keep the hips in neutral. Well done. I'm going to drop through one hip and then through the other. Bend through your knee to facilitate that. Now remember, we want to have a nice big bend through the knee. Really sit down into there. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes! You can make that faster. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two,
We drop two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Drop two, three, four, four, three, two. Back to center. Drop two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Two, three, four, four, three. Back to center. So you're going to bring the feet parallel. So it's a nice, really calm. And it's really simple combination, just to have a little try, a little practice. Other side, drop, two, three, four, shimmy, two, three, back to parallel, drop, two, three, four, shimmy, two, three, step back, drop, two, three, four, shimmy, two, three, four, two, three, four, shimmy, two, three, step back, drop, two, three, four, shimmy, two, three, four, 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 Shoulder shimmy. Try and keep the hands relatively still as you go into that. Keep it here in the center. Or you could do as we had done and bring it out to the side with a, almost like a ballad village feel. It's quite organic. Earthy. Whee! Wow, that <laughs> was up to some hydration. That was amazing. How do you feel? How do you feel after that? It feels so good, doesn't it? I feel like quietly a goddess. I don't have to be all in your face about it, but I just know that I am a goddess, you know? <laughs> you know that feeling? Yes, you know that feeling. It's that inner confidence, isn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. So, in the last session, we... <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Mike keeps wanting to jump off. <laughs> um... So in the last session, we had, we had a lot of fun looking at the art of dancing with a veil, and we added in a couple new movements. So what we're going to do in this session is add to that, build on that. And remember, I mentioned that I'm going to show you a couple of ways of wearing your veil. Um, it looks really beautiful. It can be really advantageous in terms of a performance piece that you might be putting together where perhaps you don't want to enter with the veil, um, which would be more kind of classic approach to dancing with the veil, but um, styles like maybe American cabaret style and Lebanese, you wouldn't necessarily be using the veil to begin with. So, a nice way of concealing your veil and having it just handy there in any setting, maybe you just want to have a practice wear the veil, really see your movements that bit more defined. Wearing your veil on your hips is a really beautiful, sensual way of introducing the veil. So for me here, what I've done, let me just show you as I bring the veil out. So once the veil is tucked, you're gonna lift the veil outwards. So you might perhaps say, turn and bring the veil out and your audience just all of a sudden notice that you have a veil. Um, so what I had done to tuck that 
is I took the long edge of a rectangular veil, just grip, so kind of bundle some of it towards you like this to take up that depth of veil. Then what you're gonna do is make like little ears like this. And then you're gonna tuck that inside. So pull your waistband or your belt outwards. And then you're gonna tuck that inside there. Now, trick is to tuck it enough that it stays whilst you're dancing something else, but that it's not so deep within your clothing that you can't pull it out nice and easily uh, without creating a fuss and diverting your audience's eye. So I did that on one side and then you're gonna just do the same on the other. Now I'm just gonna do this very roughly. You can of course take your time, use a mirror, get things positioned exactly where you want them. It's a really wonderful way of adding volume and more movement to your costume. Uh, as well as a pop of colour. As you can see, it looks really beautiful. So that is one way of wearing your veil and then beginning to dance with it. Okay, all right, so another way that you might choose to wear your veil would be, let me show you three different ways in this session actually. So another way would be to bring the veil in behind you, take one edge, bring it over the top of your costume. Um, do you call this again? <laughs> like if you have a halter neck or a strap, then you can tuck it like this. And then tuck away the, you know, the ear. Just kind of tuck that back in behind and it creates this sort of beautiful rosette appearance. And then on the other side, you can bring it all the way around your bust. So it's out here like this. So it's like this. Bring it around your body, almost wrapping it like a sari. Now you can cover and enclose the bra if perhaps you haven't performed yet and you're waiting to perform. You can cross it around like this or you can expose a little bit if you want to dance with the veil on like this. And then with this long edge, I would maybe just tuck that in at the belt. And I'm sure you'll agree this looks really beautiful. And then of course, what you can do is you can reach for an edge and you could do perhaps like an unravel movement where you could turn into the movement like this or you could turn this way and then pull outwards and you have the veil. Woohoo! Amazing. Third one I'm going to show you is lots of fun. This one, I haven't actually seen anybody do this for quite a long time. Veil movements always go in a little bit of a trend. So if maybe you knew about this one and you'd forgotten about it, let's maybe bring it back. Or if it's brand new to you, wow, isn't it fun? So this one often is referred to as the sail. So what you're gonna do is take the short edge of your veil, that rhymed, <laughs> take the short edge, the two corners, bring them in behind you, okay? Then what you're gonna do is take one edge round towards one hip, tuck it in, and on the other side, tuck it in like so. And then what you'll see is you have this trailing edge here. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look gorgeous as it is? I don't even want to do anything else. Of course, if you were to dance like this, you'd have to be super careful not to stand on it. You don't want to slide. Wow. I didn't intend for this bit, but it feels like the inner child within me is rolling with it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the other short edge. So maybe just move out of the way that long edge so you don't slide. Pick up here and pick up here. Oh, my mic. Sorry about that. Mic came crashing down again. Hopefully that is not going to happen again. So we're here and what you're going to do is bring I think I've just managed to tie this in a knot whilst fixing the mic, but you're gonna get the idea anyway. So we're gonna take the long edge, uh, the short edge, and you're gonna do that little tuck around the strap that we did a moment ago. You can tuck some of that into your bra top to secure it if you want to. And then the same on the other side, just bring it around the strap 
Make sure you pull enough out so that it's going to stay and tuck it in. If you want to conceal it, you can just tuck it in behind there. And then what you have is essentially a sail. So this can be really, really effective if you're dancing outdoors and there's a little bit of wind drag. It looks really colorful and pretty like a butterfly. And the other thing that you can do is you can actually dance without it tucked. Just being super careful of this mic now. <laughs> Um, without it tucked and raise it up over your head. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Woo! And you can have a really fun play with that. <laughs> I'll let you do play with that in your own time. That is so amazing, isn't it good fun? Let's dance with our veils, with some of the movements that we've been doing in this course, and just have a lot of fun with those. So if you have your veil handy, you can grab it now, help yourself to some hydration before we move on into dancing freestyle with these movements. So I'm gonna take the long edge, and I've got a scissor grip here. I'm gonna start off with waves. Four, three, two, one. Up and over, hold on. Bring it round. Again, up and over. Bring it all the way around. Wow. Up over, bring it round. That looks gorgeous. Woohoo! Back to waves. Do you remember that um, around the world movement we did? Bring it all the way around behind you and just circle it in front. All the way behind you, circle in front. Try the other direction, all the way around. Remember, keep your hips in neutral, pivoting forwards from the hip if you're traveling forwards in that movement. Bring it up behind you. You can work with the slide of the hip. Woohoo! <laughs> Another movement that we had there was the matador. So for that one, let me turn this way. And then what you're gonna do is bring your right hand onto your left shoulder. The left hand comes out from underneath, bring it up and out to the side. Here we go, we've got one, two, three, and four. One, two, three 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 and four. Slow that down or speed that up as you wish. Take it all the way round, around the world. Let's do up over release. Wow! <laughs> Amazing! Um, the other thing I mentioned that we're going to address in this last session of this course is, of course, that inclination that people have that whenever they dance with the veil, oh my gosh, what if something goes wrong? First of all, what if something goes wrong? Actually, sometimes the most amazing moments in any of my performances, um, and I've performed a lot for a lot of different audiences, and sometimes it's actually in the unplanned moments that the magic happens. So never ever be afraid of that unknown aspect of your dance. It is what makes it alive. It is what makes it entertaining often. And so, but with that, with that there are certain techniques and tricks and tools and just practice that we can bring in to, el to eliminate any sort of sense of 
uncertainty or perhaps anxiety. And so one of the ones that we had done before was to take your veil and bundle it up, bundle it up. And then we're gonna throw it upwards and we have no idea how it's going to fall, but we're gonna just see if we can grip onto a corner, an edge. So we're gonna do that. And then the next time what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can grab onto a corner, but also see if we can grab onto another part of the veil, like perhaps maybe a long edge. Now this might work for you and it might not. And I myself have no idea what's gonna happen. <laughs> Let's give it a shot, shall we? So, so first time, we're literally just throwing it up and you're gonna try and grab onto a corner. Ready? Four, three, two, and throw it nice and high. Of course, being aware of your surroundings. Did you get it? Oh, I did. <laughs> Yay. And then this time, just let it drop anyway. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. Always, always being aware of your surroundings. Um, make sure that it's not gonna catch in anything. Be careful of light fittings. Never, never dance with a veil around a naked flame. Don't even use incense. Um, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. <laughs> Tempting as it is. But you can get some really beautiful fake candles now, can't you? Full flames. Go for them instead, right? So we bundled it all up like this. Now this time we're gonna throw it up. We're gonna aim to grab hold of a corner and also a length. Hopefully the long edge, but see how you go. Here we go, you ready? Ah, are you ready? Oh my gosh, here we go. And four, three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> Did you get it? Oh, I almost got it. I certainly got the long edge and I was just a little bit away from the corner, but let's try again, just drop it on the ground. Okay, this time we're gonna dance any way you like. Doesn't have to be belly dance, but have a little bit of a dance. And then we're gonna pick up the veil in a way that your audience are busy watching you dance. They don't really notice what you're doing with the veil. Of course they will see you do that, but You are like the main attraction. Bundle it all up, still dancing. All right, throw it up. Let's aim for those two different points. <laughs> wow, for me there was this crazy bit of wind just suddenly came from nowhere and the veil just tumbled a totally different direction but I got the long edge, I missed the corner. How did you do? Let me know in the comments how you found that. Wow, the more that you do these things, the more that you have fun with the mistakes, the more that the mistakes become part of the dance. It's, it's just one of those things. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is bundle it up. I want you just to throw it at the ground. Boom. <laughs> and we're gonna just have a little bit of a practice of coming down towards the veil and just reaching for the veil anywhere, wherever you happen to find it. It doesn't have to be a long edge or short edge. It doesn't have to be an edge at all, but just reach for the veil. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a gentle turn. And in that turn, we're gonna find our way towards a basic grip of the veil. So scissor grip like this. And ideally, if it's a rectangular veil, you can have a scissor grip a third of the way along and a third of the way along the other side on the long edge. So wherever you have it right now, let me just show you the turn. It's really, really simple. You can do any turn you like, but a nice one to use for this is a slow controlled corkscrew turn. So let's take our right foot and cross it over your left foot. Now the turn comes from the bend of the knee and the squeezing of the muscles of inner thigh, outer thigh, mid thigh. And you're gonna gently pick up this momentum to turn on the balls of your feet. And as you do that, you're gonna to start to bring the veil towards you. So let's go for that, bring the veil towards you. You're gonna to begin to turn and feel for that edge and bring it all the way out. 
And hopefully by the time you come around to the other side, your audience are ready to see something really gorgeous, whatever that might be. Maybe it's around the world. Do you want to try that one more time? Let's try that one more time. So just bundle the veil up and just throw it at the ground. This is what's fun. Whee! <laughs> and then just dance. Maybe it's a slide of the hip. So to come down towards the ground, what you can do is bring one foot behind you and just gently come down like this. Now, you don't want to rest on the ground because that's going to be tricky to come back upwards again. You might get too comfortable. So you're just going to come down some way, bring your hand down. Now this hand might be doing a snake-like serpentine movement. You're going to come down towards... <laughs> I thought it was further over, but hey. <laughs> and you're going to gradually come back upwards again. And then whatever part of the veil you have, we're going to go into that corkscrew turn, bring your hands wide, cross over. You could try this to the other direction if you like, or stay the same. Bend through your knees and use a corkscrew turn. And see if you can feel into where you are with the veil as you come out towards the side. Oh, I'm going to need two turns here. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully you're there. Take it around the world around the world. Let's do into center, up, over, and release. Wow, that was absolutely amazing. How beautiful. Ah. So that is how to turn the mistakes of dancing with a veil into the most beautiful part of a dance. And it really taps into your own creativity in those moments and takes the dance back to its roots as an improvisational dance form. So let's bring our feet nice and wide. Let's bring our hands all the way up towards the sky. We can come round towards one side. Let's lengthen out and release. And bring it into center. Unwinding. Take it to the other side. We're going to lengthen through the other side. Uh, all the way down into center. And back up in its center. Deep breath in here. And as you breathe out, bring one hand to heart space, one hand down at sacred life force energy space. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me in this six week course. It's been an absolute joy and a pleasure to share. During the pandemic, I've been sharing lots of my content online for free with the support and the help of our Patreon heroes, superheroes, our supporters. Thank you to all of you for making this possible. If you're just finding your way to us just now, perhaps you're on YouTube and you just discovered the channel and you've been doing a couple of these classes, Feel free to hit subscribe, uh, to turn on notifications, and leave us a comment. Let us know how you've enjoyed this course with us. If you'd like to dive in even deeper, we've got a whole community and lots of fun happening behind the scenes. You can get lots of sneak peeks and snippets. If you head on over to patreon.com forward slash Little Egypt Studio, I would be absolutely delighted to have you join us there. And everybody who's in our live class would really love to meet you. <laughs> Happy shimmying. Woohoo! <laughs> wow!